Hey guys, welcome back to another session of the Mega Campaign on Europa Euralis 4. So, I was actually going to be editing a LCPDFR session, but for some reason I deleted the the recording for it apparently, which was very strange because I never did that, but it's gone now, so sadly it's not there anymore. So I thought, you know what, I might as well just kickstart the Mega Campaign more and just get into, uh, get into more of it so we can carry on and uh, see how far we can get, really. Um, so in our last session we saw the Mongolia, or Mongolia so to say, completely split apart with Monk, Jalair, um, Buyatia, Orat, and a lot of other countries just split from Mongolia at the start of Europa. Um, in Europe here we've had the cult of the Hultsies, or Hootsies as I call them, uh, being attacked by a bunch of different uh, countries but they're still holding on to their provinces, so that's going good. The Aztecs haven't really gone any far in terms of uh, des destroying Northumberland and then a few little provinces in Spain, but that's really what they've done so far. Uh, in India here, we've had a few wars go on. Uh, we've had Afghanistan lose a lot of their provinces that was a part of Mongolia in India here. Now a lot of them have become independent. We still have this to go down still, which is uh, occupied by Kosatan or Kosatan, something like that. In the Balkans area, going into Turkey region, uh, we have uh, obviously the Greek or Greece here. Greece did attack uh, Trebizond, and then they made that. Then they made it so they were actually uh, guaranteed their independence by. Greece, but now it seems like they're not anymore, which is very, very strange. So maybe Greece might go to war, and maybe we will see the rise of the Byzantium in this session today. But obviously, they have to take over Constantinople and whatnot from Bulgaria. So we'll see how that goes, really. Um, in Italy, we've had a few wars go on. Uh, we have Lucania take over the Sicily Isles here. Uh, we've had the Pope take over a bit of territory along the northwestern side of Italy here. In Africa, not a lot has been going on, um, but in East Africa we've had a few wars going on. We still have a war here. Uh, we have a few separatist rebel groups around the world as well. But anyway, let's get this going and let's see what happens. Uh, so, let's bring up to speed 5, shall we? So I'm going to be quite curious as to see what happens, especially in the Byzantine um, uh, area. It'll be quite interesting. Um, also, we had Pomerania appear, which is now quite big now. Hmm, very interesting stuff. Ruthania is quite big. We had Rus here at one point, but Rus has only been dwindled down to one province now. We have Mongol. We have quite a few Mongol separatists actually. Uh, so who knows? Maybe Mongolia may be able to uh, bring back uh, their big country that they had before being converted, but. Who knows? I'm generally quite curious as to what will happen with uh, the cult here. Who knows? They might survive. Who knows? But there is a lot of areas here that are still claimed by a lot of other countries here. Aquitaine, we've got uh, Toulouse. Do we have Brittany here? No. So as you can see, a lot of the uh, countries that once used to be here are now kind of the cores have been taken from them now so really the Aztecs have a huge hold on, on Britain and then Spain as well. Polosk is being attacked by who? By a lot of countries but who's capturing? Okay, Yatvingia, okay. Jesus. Pol yep, there you go, Yatvingia is right there so that's quite a big country now. Is Pomerania at war with anybody? Yes, with Bulgaria and they're actually losing the war apparently. Interesting. Is Bulgaria at war with anybody else? No, just Pomerania, Hausligand, or Haus Haslingland. <laughs> What's going on in India here? Not a lot. Just a bunch of Afghan tribes taking over some places. Anything going on in America? We have a few Asiboni tribes. Asiniboni, I think that's what they're called. We have a few Pawnee Pretender Rebels. What have been going on in Southern America? No, not yet. 
would be quite interesting to see what happens though. Anyway. Any colonization yet? No, nothing yet. I think the colonization starts in 1500s, I think. I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, as we can see here, we've got some uh, wars going on with Austria. We've got some Catholic zealots here. And then we also have Austria here that's being occupied by Carpathia. So Carpathia might be looking a way to try and form the country they had in Crusader Kings 2. Who knows, we'll have to see. Is the Aztecs at war with anybody? They're at war with the Jalids. Interesting. So they're definitely at war. Huh. So the Jalids are quite a big country. They have a lot of the Middle East, Southern Middle East here. And not only that, but they have most of North Africa here. So who knows, they might actually win. Who knows? If they do, that'll be quite interesting. Because, as I said before, I do want to see the uh, Aztecs kind of dwindle down. Because they are a bit of a nuisance when it comes to Crusader Kings 2. Oh shit, hello. So Yavinga just lost a bunch of land to Lombardy here, look. Interesting. Now Lombardy's normally over here. Instead now they're over here. Which is very, very strange to be fair. Um <clears throat> That's gonna make it quite easy for Carpathia if they manage to border them and the southern part of Lombardy there. That'll be quite interesting to see. That war of Austria, yeah, they're winning the war against Austria, so that's going to be quite amusing if they do form the country they once had. Because they did have a huge country around here. They, it was like Bulgaria and then Pomerania, I think. No, not Pomerania. It was like some, a bunch of different countries that formed Carpathia that were taken over by one country. I forgot which country it was, though. The Papal State, though, is becoming quite big. Holy shit. That tends to happen a lot. The Papal State, if they do have an aggressive leader, they will tend to try and take over a lot of states or countries, so to say. So there we go. Austria has now dwindled down to one province now. Carpathia is now gaining its uh, borders back as it used to have. But we do have... Is that Transylvania there? No, Ruferania. Okay. Would be quite interesting to see Transylvania appear, actually. Transylvania isn't there anymore. Oh dear, what's going on here? Ruferania at war with Odiev. That's quite interesting, seeing that uh, Odiev isn't that big. They must have a lot of manpower. Hmm. Yep, they're winning that war at the moment, so... And not only that, though, they probably have backing of the Ruferania peasants as well, but... Who knows? <clears throat> that would be quite interesting to see, really. I do want to see Russia form, actually. That would be quite an interesting... Uh, consequence if Russia does fall. Let's have a look at the ledger quickly and see what's going on. So let's go to country, no not country, let's go to relationships and current wars. Let's see what's going on here. Let's go to most scored. Right, so we have Neapolis against Lucania. Interesting. So whereabouts is Lucania? Ah, Lucania is here. So Neapolis and Lucania are going at war with each other. They seem to be winning so far, so that's quite interesting. What about the very bottom? What's going on here? Ah, so we have... Oh, okay, so Afghanistan is at war with uh, some Indian countries here. Let's actually have a look quickly. Let's go and check. Yeah, see, Afghanistan's being taken over. Look. Yeah, so Afghanistan is at war with a lot of people. Christ, they're at war with... Well, they're dealing with three wars right now. They're winning one, but they're losing two. It looks like they have a lot of enemies. Let's actually have a look at a diplomatic uh, area and see what's going on. Yeah, most of India fucking hates them. <laughs> um, Tulu is guaranteed by uh, by Afghanistan there. Hmm. Not very friendly with a lot of people, are they? Huh. Interesting. Right. Well, let's see how this goes then. That's a political view. So just going down here. Is Carpathia at war with anybody? No. But who are they allied with? They're allied with Poland, Lombardy, and Subjov. So I'm assuming they're guaranteed independence, maybe? No. Maybe they were released by... Uh, by the country they're a part of. Yeah, bingo, yeah. They probably were. Hmm. 
lots of countries have calls on that uh, country though. Jeez, they're losing a lot of wars. God damn. This stands at war with uh, a few separatists here, but not only that, they're at war with, jeez, at war with a lot of people. Hmm. Ah, okay, so this is what just happened here then. So, Odiev, I think, no? Hmm. Well, something's happened here because Odiev used to have this part here. Sorry for my squeaky chair. Um, but it looks like Sudai has now appeared. We have Hungary. <laughs> That's very fucking strange. And Mordva here. Chernigov here as well. Are the Aztecs at war with anybody? No, but they do have a truce with the Jagalids. Oh, hello. What's happened here? Oh shit, they won. Wow, would you look at that? Looks like some troops are stuck there. Yep. Looks like the Jailids have actually managed to take parts of what the Aztecs used to own, I believe. Interesting. Is Greek at war with anybody? Or Greece? I was in Greek. Afghanistan is just a fucking mess right now. Jesus. Anything going on in North America here? Just a couple of wars, nothing too interesting. Obviously, we haven't seen any colonizations yet until uh, the 1500s, I believe. Which is coming up very soon, I think. Let's go back to the ledger quickly and see what's going on. Uh, let's go to country. Let's, you know, let's just have a look at the countries, actually. Let's see what we got. Okay, so here are all the countries here. There's a lot of countries. What I'm looking for is some really, really old country names. Because you can see them. Ah, oh, Guge. Kingdom of Guge. Ah, oh, that's in India. I like the ISIS flag for a second then. Le Lorraine. Longbow. What the fuck is that? Okay. Weird spin off of Lombardy. Palos has a very similar. Um, Flag to Mongolian Empire, I've noticed. Pabal State. Mm, nothing too interesting. Score comparison, score through ages. Nations technology. Let's have a look at the nations technology quickly and see who's got the highest. Cherokee has. God. <clears throat> That's actually quite interesting. The uh, Red Indian tribes have more technology than some of the fucking countries along in Europe. That's very interesting. Let's go back to current wars here. Let's see what we got. We have Sukadianit <laughs> Syria at war with Hamadan. Okay, so Dihistan and Rashka. Right, okay, so lots of wars going on here. Jali Perja Husanid Heresy. Alright, okay then, that's interesting. That's an interesting fucking war going on. <clears throat> Looks like they're losing as well. That's fucking interesting. Let's actually see what's going on here then. So the Husanids are. God, where are they? Husanids. Hmm. Let's have a look quickly. Let's, uh... Is it F? Yeah. Hoos, hoos, no, hoos and it's, oh god, whoops, hoos and it's, ah, the hoos and it's are here, and they're winning? Ah, I think I know why, interesting problem they have here, so not only are the, uh, <laughs> so we've got a bit of a problem here, so basically the hoos and it's are here, and the Jalids can't get over to them, I don't think, at the moment anyway, because I think not only are they blocked, but it's also the fact that uh, the Naftis country is also blocking them there, so that's very interesting. What's happening to Afghanistan here? Okay, so Af the Afghanistan war has just stopped. Looks like the Raj have uh, taken a lot of territory back from Afghanistan. Yeah, they have 
cause that. What's going on here? Ah, Jalair's going to war with. I believe. Oh, right, okay, so the Mongolian Empire at war with two people the Orat and the Jalairs. Ming is fucking huge. Jesus Christ. Please calm down. <laughs> Brunswick is at war with a few countries. Just a few. <clears throat> I'm sort of losing their, uh, their country there. Maybe they'll be completely annexed. Who knows? So, as you can see, we have a lot of nice borders coming along now. Very nice. Obviously, we still have quite a few small countries lingering about. We have Pomerania, Carpathia, Bulgaria, who's now fucking huge. Obviously, the Aztecs. Fuck the Aztecs. Korchin. What was this? Yatamiyapov. God damn, some of these names are ridiculous. Honestly, to be fair, like, if they do lose the, uh,. Jalis do lose a province here, then I don't think it's going to really mean much to them. Because they have all this here, so it's not really a huge issue. So, Borgon's at war with Upper Lorraine here. Interesting. Oh, hello. Ah, the Aztecs are at war again with the Papal State, Aquitaine, and Borgon. Right, or Borgon. Interesting. So, will the Aztecs finally fall? Will they lose a lot of provinces, or will they actually fight back and win? Because most of the time they fight back and win, which is quite fucking boring. Jalea. Yeah, Jalea's doing work. Oh dear. What's going on here? Upper Lorraine are just, uh... That's why, because they have fucking provinces there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. So. It would be quite interesting to see what happens here in the French region. Because I don't think any, <clears throat> any French countries are going to... Why, why do we have the Cherokee tribe here? That's fucking weird. Why does the Cherokee own parts of fr uh, France? That's very strange. Sorry about that. I have to clear my throat. Just had my dinner just like five minutes ago. I think something was stuck in my throat just then. Anyway, so Lower Lorraine is just being destroyed, obviously. Of course they would be. I mean, they're fighting against. Well, they're fighting against Upper Lorraine, which is quite interesting. Ah, okay. So yeah, lots of nice borders coming along now. Very interesting. Let's greet up war with anybody. Yes, they are. They're at war with Bades and Ubayeds. Yep, here they are. The Bades here. Look, interesting. Now, do they have any allies? They don't. The military level is eight. That's quite interesting. So is Bulgaria's. Let's have a look at some of the country's uh, military power, or military level. What about Mongolia? Ah, fucking six, that's why. Ming, they have an eight. The Aztecs, they have an eight. Okay. What about the Papal State? They have an eight. Okay. Neapolis, seven. So, okay, so pretty much eights all around. <coughs> Yeah, I believe Greece might uh, be quite a prominent country, maybe. I have a feeling they might be. Let's uh, have a look what's going on around here. Nothing much. Brunei's become quite big. Just to be expected. Let's uh, carry on watching this war here, shall we? Ah, so the Bay uh, ba uh, Bedis are l losing a two man war right now, or two way war. Tiger and Separatists. Interesting. Actually, that was one thing we didn't see actually appear in um, this particular mega campaign. Uh, we didn't actually see the um, the rise of the Teutonic Order. Sorry, yet again. My God. Uh, yeah, so the Teutonic Order. 
um, appears in Crusader Kings 2 and they're they're quite powerful you know they're, they're a mercenary group but they can take over provinces and become their own established country uh, but in this mega campaign we didn't now in one mega campaign I did offline um, they survived Crusader Kings 2 and they owned all Scandinavia it was ridiculous like they were pretty powerful but then like in Victoria 2 they can, got completely fucking destroyed it's quite sad really because I do like the Teutonic Order it's quite a uh, quite an interesting uh, thing to happen. Trebizondian Cossacks. Interesting. I hmm, wonder what they are. I've never seen them before. I need to look that up. Very bizarre rebel group, so to say. Hmm. It's actually very interesting. I want to see who they are, actually. So, let's go to the internet quickly. So, hang on a second. Let's pause it. Let's go to the internet here quickly. And let's go to Europa U Vars 4 uh, Cossacks Rebels. Hmm. I'll tell you what guys, I'll be right back once I find it. Give